All right. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I'm Charlie Capen, uh, founder of Momentus. And this sounds like a commercial. This is your moment with us. Hi, hi everybody. Um, uh, we are so excited uh, to have you here today uh, for what is going to be an auspicious day. <clears throat> Samba Schutz is teaching another baking class. This is sure to be uh, the best one yet. Uh, we are baking gentle beard cupcakes. Uh, hello to all of our OFMD fans. Hello, chat is open. The Q&A box is open. You can use that to ask questions as well. Um, thank you for joining and helping Samba's uh, charity of choice, which is the LA Food Bank. One in five people in the LA County area uh, is facing food insecurity. And so as we approach the holidays, there's no better time to help uh, be grateful for the food that we have than by offering food for others. So thank you for participating in this event today and helping do some good and hang out with some cool people. Hi, everybody. People from Bristol, UK. People, I mean, people from all over here. Wow. Portland, Minnesota, Albuquerque, which is the hardest name to spell in the history of maps, in my opinion. Utah, Maine, New Hampshire, Canada. Everybody's here. This is amazing. This chat is lit up. All right. Uh, I'm not going to go on for too long here because we have a lot to get through. And um, there is uh, there's just so much to see and say and do. Um, front row. So if you would like to be in our front row, we're going to grab five people uh, from our audience to come in and uh, join our front row. So raise your hand if you have a working camera and mic. There's a little, if you go down to the reactions there, you can hit that button. Uh, and we will pick five people. If you are uh, a, a meet and greet ticket holder, just stay in this Zoom and we will get to you at the end of this broadcast. This is being recorded. Uh, this class will be recorded and will be uh, sent out to you after the fact. So make sure you're subscribed to our emails because we will send you a link. Um, and I uh, just want to say thank you for supporting Momentus. We have Momentus Plus subscribers Thanks here as well. Video. We're grabbing people now. Yep, we're grabbing people. Congratulations. Also, Richard Richard Schnitzel, if that is your real name, you're the most epic. That's incredible. What, what you have an incredible name. Um it's my husband's name. He bought I love your name, Richard. Day. You have the coolest <laughs> name I've ever seen in my life. Um yes. Hi. All right, we're getting everybody in. Great. So uh so thank you to our Momentous Plus subscribers who are getting uh, unlimited classes for free every month for one class for one price. Um, you are also getting some perks too. And uh, without further ado, look at all these amazing, lovely people ready to go. I, I'm, I'm going to get the heck out of here. We need Samba up in here now. That's what I think. So let's move Samba in to the webinar, shall we? Yes. Look at all these people with us. Oh my God, the shirts. There he is. All right. Hello, let's everyone. Samba. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Unless Oops, you're in the UK, I guess. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> That's right. How are you, Samba? Oh, hey, guys. I love the aprons. I love the shirts. I love the T-shirts. Hey. Yay. Amazing. Uh, yeah. Hi, Charlie. Hi, Berto. Thanks for being here and doing this and putting this together. Thank you for everyone uh, for joining us today. I'm so excited to uh, make these cupcakes for you and just kind of um, show you uh, the step-by-step -step process. Uh, they are not that complicated, so we will get through this, you guys. Um, and yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll be baking constantly for 90 minutes because each one takes about 40 minutes from top to from start to finish, including frosting. So good luck, Beto. <laughs> uh, and yeah, I guess, Charlie, should we just start? Let's do it. Okay. All right. Cool, everyone. Uh, so uh, I hope you're all excited. Uh, what you have to do first is uh, turn on your oven to 350 degrees. My oven's back there. It's already on. So if you haven't done that, just preheat your oven to 300 degrees, uh, 350 degrees Fahrenheit, which is, I guess, what, 175 Celsius for the European out there. Um, once that's on, uh, I want to remind you, please, to uh, take out your uh, butter and uh, milk and cream to come up to room temperature. So if you haven't already, make sure your sticks of butter are out. I think by calculation, it's going to be about five and a half sticks of butter. Just make sure they're out so they can come to room temp because we'll need these bad boys to be at room temp to do a good frosting later that doesn't split. If it does, don't worry, I got you back. Uh, so your eggs, 
as well. Just make sure they're out so they can come out to room temperature. That's five eggs that you'll need in total. Okay, uh, I'm excited. Let's go. Uh, who do we have here? Richard Schnitzel. Love, love it. Love it. Patricia Koch. Oh, is that a Dutch name? Oh, okay. Sorry. Yes. My, my husband's name is Richard Schnitzel. My okay. name is Sarah. All right. I'll still call you. Is that okay? <laughs> call me anything you'd like. To. All right. And yes, it's Sounds Dutch. Delicious. And it is Dutch, Patricia? Yes, it is. Awesome. I love it. <laughs> okay. So what we're going to start with is um, uh, lining your cupcake liners. Uh, this recipe can make up to 15 cupcakes. If you don't have more than 12, that's fine. Don't worry, you can save the, the, the leftover batter. But ideally, uh, you want like 12 to 15. Um, and then, so what you want to do is line your uh, cupcake liners with uh, little, like cupcake molds with little cupcake liners. I'm going to use, we're starting with the chocolate ones. So I'm going to use black because they're the black beards. Uh, so just put them into your cupcake liner. All right, already done that. Yeah. Gonna start with the black beard. There's a rich, decadent chocolate cupcake, but it's fluffy and it's not too sweet and it's rich. And the cast members were dying over them, especially Annapella, Auntie, Dave Fane, and then uh, Matt for his birthday. So I'm just gonna put 15, maybe 16, just in case. Um, so once that's lined up, we're gonna start with the batter. Make sure your oven's on. Again, 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's put this aside. So you're gonna need two mixing bowls. Uh, doesn't matter what size, just make sure they're medium to large. Uh, Cause we're gonna put the dry ingredients in one, the wet ingredients in another, except for the buttermilk. So to start, let's put the dry ingredients in the bowl. Let's do three quarters cup of flour, which is uh, 94 grams. I tried to write this out in the recipe for our European counterparts. So three quarters cup flour in the dry. Boom. And then you're gonna add half a cup of cocoa powder. Now I use I use this guy, which I love. There's also this guy, which I always use, but any cocoa powder will do. I I saw some people bought Hertie's, which is totally fine. Uh just whatever your favorite cocoa powder is, this one's mine. So add half a cup of cocoa powder to the flour. Again, don't worry if it's messy. This is me. Secretly, the more cocoa powder you have in there, the more chocolatey flavor it will be. All right. So that, and then we're gonna add three quarter teaspoons of baking powder. So. Add up three quarter teaspoon baking powder, boom. And then half a teaspoon of baking soda. Half a teaspoon. Boom. And then a pinch of salt or a quarter teaspoon of salt. Which for me is this. Boom. All right, so you're gonna whisk these dry ingredients together just so they're nicely mixed. Just incorporate it. Hey, some of the people are asking if you could slow down ever so slightly because they are uh, <clears throat> trying to, there's one person who's asking how many beans and they should use if they don't have extract. Uh, but we're just oh, did you... vanilla. Oh, that's yeah. coming. We're not there yet, but um, two teaspoons. Okay. Vanilla beans. I want are... to slow down just ever so slightly. I think. Absolutely, uh, absolutely. Uh, people are already, vanilla, already sorry, sweating. Sorry. Apparently, I was, <laughs> we haven't even gotten started. Uh, I'll go slower. Um, two teaspoons of vanilla extract. I, I think in vanilla bean terms, because uh, it's so strong, I would say maybe go by your gut but i think a quarter just like this much of the vanilla bean paste just like little size of your finger that much because that's going to be super strong i think that's one teaspoon in vanilla bean language yeah there you go Virgo. 
<laughs> okay. Uh, so those are the dry ingredients. Now we'll move on to the uh, wet ingredients. Uh, so we're going to need two eggs. So just add your two eggs to your other bowl. One. Okay. Um, then we're going to add half a cup of uh, white sugar to that. and half a cup of brown sugar. I just use the same cup. And, and while he's doing that, I just wanted to say to everybody, if you want to post photos of your setup, of your cooking setup, or any of the gear that you have on, make sure you post and tag Samba and Momentus so we can see it and share it too, because we'd love to see all of your faces here. Thanks. <laughs> love that. How are you doing there, Mishan? You're on mute. You're on mute, but I think I see a thumbs up. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Awesome. Um, so yeah, for those who are still catching up, two eggs, white sugar, brown sugar. Uh, then let's add a third cup of vegetable oil. You can use canola oil too, but what you want is kind of an oil that doesn't taste like oil. So no olive oil. Avocado oil could work as well. Um, this is what will help make your cupcakes uh, smooth. So third cup of vegetable oil or 80 milliliters. Add that to the mix, followed by your two teaspoons of vanilla extract or your little finger or vanilla bean, if you have that. Um, two teaspoons vanilla extract into the wet ingredients. One, two. Okay. Now we're going to uh, whisk together these wet ingredients till they're combined, okay? How's it going there, Joseph? I love the apron. Yeah, thanks for supporting. Thank you. Um, my name's Jesse. Joseph is my husband. He bought this for me for my birthday. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> that's amazing, Jesse. Happy birthday. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Why isn't he making you the cupcakes instead? <laughs> um. That's a good question. <laughs> no, that's a nice I think thing. I got played. Yeah, there's something weird about that. Happy birthday here. Make me some food. <laughs> Happy birthday. All right, mix until combined, you guys. Don't you don't need to over mix it, just mix until combined. Now we will um uh, make our buttermilk. So if you have, if you don't have buttermilk, don't worry. You just need regular milk and some vinegar. It could be any kind of vinegar. It could be rice vinegar, uh, apple cider vinegar. I just use white vinegar because um, I don't have buttermilk. Uh, all you kind of need is kind of like a curdled kind of milk flavor texture to this to add to the depth of these cupcakes. So half a cup of milk, or if you have buttermilk, half a cup of buttermilk. Keep that separate. I'm just going to make my buttermilk. So I'm just going to put half a cup of regular milk. And I'm going to add one tablespoon of vinegar to it to help curl it, curdle it, curdle, curdle. Okay, here we go. Just a tablespoon of vinegar in the milk and just stir that together. And I'll just curdle a little bit. You just want that flavor. Smells like buttermilk too.
Okay. Now we're ready to combine these ingredients and create the black bell. All right. Um, hopefully everyone's caught up. So this next part is pretty simple. We're just gonna pour half of the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients. Um, so just put half of these wet combined ones into the dry. Boom. Okay. Half of your buttermilk. Boom. And just kind of stir that together so you can combine a little bit. Just so it starts to form a little ball and then you can add the rest. So you can use a spatula if you want just to scoop it out. The rest of the wet. The rest of buttermilk. Let's mix that all together till it comes together. You don't want to over mix it. Just want to make sure it's fully combined. Because we're not making brownies. We're not trying to make these dense cupcakes. They're going to be nice and fluffy. Like date funny. <laughs> Who, by the way, I have a BTS story about us. I'll share with you in a second. Um, make sure it's combined. Mm -hmm. You can see it's gonna be, it's not gonna be too thick. It's gonna be a little light liquidy, which is what you want. And you just wanna stir it until it's all combined. Don't over mix it. Just make sure everything's kind of incorporated. And you have this delicious chocolatey, smells very chocolatey to me, mix. Okay. Don't taste it, by the way. It's got raw eggs in there. And trust me, you don't want salmonella. I've been there before. So resist, resist. All right. Uh, we're going to put these into our beautiful cupcake liners. Now, here's uh, the, the thing we have to do. Only fill them up halfway. All right, not more, because if they're too much, they'll overspill in the oven or they'll uh, be undercooked in the center. So it's imperative to just fill them up halfway um, or they'll get uh, ruined or too dry or too wet. Um, so with a spoon or any other scooping device you have, gently pour them into your cupcake uh, mold the frosting and just kind of like halfway so yeah I was uh in episode seven with Dave Fane uh it only made the post credit scene but uh there's a whole scene where Roach and Fang have a spa day and the reason that starts is because uh, they're left behind on the ship to do the dishes and clean up after Calypso's birthday and they're both frustrated that they drew the short end of the stick. And so Roach walks up to Fang and goes, what if we just don't do this? What if we just get out of here and do something else? And he tells Fang, I'll show you my secret spot. And Fang goes, what? And he goes, no, no, it's a place, it's a place. <laughs> but if you tell anyone, I will kill you. So he takes Fang to this beautiful stream where they have a beautiful spa day. And it was supposed to end with us having like white wine, white sparkly wine at Spanish, Spanish Jackie's before the fight breaks out and we all scream. In fact, if you slow down the fight when uh, Steve is getting beat up by Zhang, you see Roach in white face, basically from the spa mud still dry on his face, kind of reacting like a mime in the background. Um, but when we were at the stream, me and Dave uh, having our spa day, this is New Zealand. They tell you there's no predators, there's no dangerous animals, Everything's safe in nature. Even the birds don't fly, right? So we're in this beautiful stream and everything seems beautiful and gorgeous. We put our feet in the water because we're supposed to be relaxed. You know, it's like Fernando, the director, is like, just be super relaxed. It's okay. You know, you're on a spa day. It's beautiful. So we're kicking our feet in the water, giggling and, and laughing and being all giddy and relaxed. And then suddenly an eel 
bites Dave Fane in the foot, bites his toe, an eel. And Dave screams, he goes, oh, fuck, an eel bit me. And then uh, we look up and we see an eel this big swimming down the stream. And I'm, I'm terrified of snakes and spiders. So I scream, I get out of the water. I'm like, oh my God, I said, you know, you guys said this is safe. You said there's no dangerous animals in New Zealand. And Dave is like, yeah, it fucking bit me, fucking bit me. And then <laughs> we, we see the eel, we chase it off. And then Fernando goes, Samba, Samba, no, we need to do this scene today, okay? So just get back in the water. Just put your feet in the water. Just relax. It's going to be okay. I'm like, there's an eel in the water. He just bit Dave. And Dave's like, I fucking bit me. And then he's like, no, just relax. It's okay. Just, you're having a spa day. Just relax. So we get back in there. They convince me to get back in there. We put our feet in and we have to do the scene again. And we have to be all airy and fairy. Uh, it was the best acting I had to do in my life to seem relaxed on that day. And if you watch the scene, you'll see me and Dave kicking our feet in the stream because we're like, no eel is going to bite me again while I'm doing this scene. And that's the reason why we're kicking our feet. We're not being giddy little children kicking our feet because they're having fun in the stream. We're actually protecting ourselves from these dangerous New Zealand eels. So that was a true story. I have the photo of the eel. I have the photo of Dave Fane's toe with the two marks, like vampire teeth marks on it. Um, so yeah, if there's ever a blooper scene that comes out, a blooper reel, uh, you'll see Dave scream and me run off screaming too. So that's a little BTS story about that little moment. <laughs> and the dangerous New Zealand eels where there's no predators, but the best acting of our lives. All right. So I managed to fill in 15 cupcakes. If you manage 16, good for you. If you manage less, don't worry about it. They'll still taste good. All right, halfway. Now, this is optional uh, for people who want extra chocolate flavor. You can add some chocolate chips to the tops of these just to give that extra texture of crunch. I do this, you don't have to do this. Uh, just regular chocolate chips are your favorite kind of chocolate chips. I put like two or three into each cupcake. So if you want to do it, great. If not, don't worry, it's not going to change anything about these cupcakes. So you kind of just on the top of them. And then while they bake, they'll kind of incorporate into this. Uh, some will have more than others. That's fine. Give some people some extra chocolate surprise. More. Up. And get there. Now, time to make these gentle beard, not gentle beard, these black beard cupcakes come to life. Uh, bring Ed out of his shell. So we're gonna bake these for 18 minutes, okay? Now some Ovens run hotter than others, so for those who know what that they have a, a hotter oven than usual, check them after 16 minutes. Uh, basically, how you know when they're done is you insert a little toothpick in the middle, and when it comes out clean in the center, they're done. If they're not done after 18 minutes, give them a few extra minutes, okay? So I'm going to pop these in the oven. I'm going to set a timer for 18 minutes, and I'll be right back. Oh, and I'm so sorry, but this is also the part where you have to clean your mixing bowls and spatula and whisk because we're going to move on to the vanilla cupcakes after this. So I'm sorry about the dishes. All right. Let's put them in the oven first. Here we go. Well, while Samba's doing that, um, thank you, everybody. Everybody here, I, everyone posting photos on social media, you're looking great. Even if it's a disaster, we're in this together. <laughs> um, uh, don't forget, we're gonna be sending this out after the fact so you can watch it back. So if you're falling behind a little bit, just follow that recipe. We can always go back to the video. Uh, Samba, do you have do you have support today helping you clean your yes, bowl? Yes, my, my wife's doing the dishes for me so I could talk to you guys while that's happening. Handling I'm camera sorry and- those. Sorry, I'm, uh, yeah, it's my birthday. So she's doing, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making her do the work. Uh, yeah. Her birthday, so I'm making her do the work. I'm kidding. Um, yeah, so this is the part where you clean up as we get ready for uh, the next batch. And then I'll talk to you guys a little bit about that. No, I'm playing. So let me set a timer on my timer. I'm so sorry if everyone's Siri activates after this. 
Hey Siri, set a timer for 18 minutes. Sorry if everyone's phone got activated. Okay. Hope everyone's okay. Christy, hang in there. Love the earrings. If you tell me Christy Long is your husband's name, I swear to God, I don't know what the running theme no. is. Okay. <laughs> no, it is definitely not. <laughs> okay, good. You hanging in there? I, I, I'm Christy. Um, I'm okay. wearing my indigenous shirt, but yeah, okay. I actually got, yep. I got, that's why I have my earrings because I'm Navajo. So no, yeah, it's a, I yeah. actually bought this, the last one that you did, I bought it for my sister in oh. April because it was her birthday. Oh, <laughs> so no yeah, I'm, I'm actually up here and um, I'm in South Dakota, Okay, but she's back home in Arizona. And so I didn't get to taste any of the chocolate tart, but she was like messaging me and everything. So oh gosh, so yeah. this is your way of feeding yourself. Uh, yeah, I'm hoping that since I'm going back for the holiday that's coming up, I'm hoping that she makes it. I've been asking her to. Please, and, yeah, and, 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 and you can bring these cupcakes to her, so you both have. Yeah, I know. I I just found out too when I was because I was trying to get all my prep work and everything in because she's yeah. she's the baker. I feel like I'm not the baker. Oh, you but when I was getting time. when I was getting all my stuff together, I'm like, I only have enough white sugar for one batch of cupcakes, so I'm gonna have to wait on the gentle beard or the the, okay. the full gentleman pirate one. But I have enough for the black beard. I have okay. way more powdered sugar than I thought, but right. I get chocolate chips. So Good. if anything, um, that's my I'm consolation. Trying to think what else? I'm trying to think what else you can use instead of sugar for the white cupcakes. Um, I don't know. I mean, just about sweetness and to help it rise. Powdered sugar might work, but again, that'll change the honey. It'll, it'll make it like more crystallized. Yeah. This is all my powdered sugar. <laughs> okay. I have two bags more. I don't know why I have so much powdered sugar. I never use it. You never know. You never know when you need to make frosting. So that's awesome. No, thanks for being here, Christy. That's amazing. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, uh, <laughs> all right. Well, that's happening. Uh, let's see. Some deleted scenes for you guys. Some scenes that didn't make it into the show. Let's start with episode one. Um, some of you noticed that Buttons has a rope around his waist. <laughs> and it's never explained, right? Uh, so the reason is that uh, Buttons, Ewan's character, uh, wanted to keep going back to the sea, kept running away. Uh, in fact, there's a scene that got cut where um, we're all in Spanish Jackies in the den where we live, where all the hammocks are. And even in the hammock, uh, Buttons is tied to a rope. Uh, and we're in the dungeon there, and we're counting the money that we made for the day because we have a savings jar, right? And so Steve is like, let's bring out the savings jar. And we're like, savings jar, savings jar. We do a little dance, and he goes, he plays with the savings jar. He's like, feed me today, feed me. <laughs> so he opens the jar, and we all put on the table all the money we made that day. So we, John, puts down a couple coins. He's like, nick this off a corpse. And... Uh, Roach goes, I gave a few tattoos down at the docks. And uh, Oluwande puts some money down. The Buttons puts a seashell down. Uh, Black Pete puts like two coins down. He goes, I'd rather not say how I got this. <laughs> and we all add our money to to the, the jar. And Steve goes, okay, everyone, let's visualize our dream ship. And so we close our eyes and we do a visualize. And Black Pete goes, on my dream ship, Lucius is alive. And Oluwande goes, on my dream ship, I'm together with Jim again. And we, John, goes, on my dream ship, I have, I have, I'm a room person. Uh, and, and Roach goes, there's a beautiful kitchen. And then Buttons roars and screams and runs for the door. And we all stand up and hold his rope back and go, please, no, Buttons, we already told you, you're going to chafe again, right? And he's feral, like a, a, an animal trying to get back to the sea. And that never got addressed. And so I just love that uh, Button is just there with a rope and we're just all like, yeah, it makes sense that he's wearing a leash, why not? <laughs> and that's why he wanted to run away uh, to the sea with each day. Um, so that's never addressed. Um, but yeah, I wish I wish we could see that scene with the visual eyes and the money jar because that was, that was really beautiful. All right, Tennis says here to take over from Berto. Yes, I love the sweatshirt. Yeah, assigned knives. Hello. Samba, you have some questions too that I can pose to you from the audience here. People can use the Q&A box. Would you like to take some of those real quick? Sure. Awesome. Um, 
what was the mud mask made of for your spa day scene? So in New Zealand, there's this beautiful spot called Roturoa, which is uh, a hot springs area where um, there's a lot of natural hot springs and it's volcanic ash and mud. And it smells like rotten eggs. <laughs> and so that's the mud we used on my face. Um, so not only did I get bitten by an eel, I smelled delicious. Uh, and so, yeah, it was this gray, gray, green mud mask that they tried on our faces and it worked. And then it started cracking. You know, when you put a mud mask on, it starts to crack. There's nothing like rotten egg crack on your face that just makes you uh, question your choices in life. But no, that's what it was made out of. Rotten egg mask, rotten egg mud from Rotoroa. Beautiful healing mud for rotten oh. eggs. Um, Claire asks, what would be on your dream ship? Not brooch, but Samba. Ooh, <sighs> chocolate. <laughs> I don't care if it's the Caribbean and all melts. Uh, just yeah. chocolate. Put a good, decent amount of chocolate on that ship and I'll be okay. Uh, yeah, I think that's like, I yeah, no spiders would be great. Uh, no spiders, uh, chocolate, um, maybe my guitar, and yeah, maybe. Uh, I know I didn't say my wife, and that's kind of like I'm getting the looks. Uh, yeah, my wife would be on my dream ship for sure. I'm sorry, uh, the camera's breaking up for some reason. I know, I didn't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> you can dry these as you, <laughs> yes, dry the dishes. Here we go. Um, how's work. everyone doing? Are, are we ready to uh, move yeah, on to the gentle beard cupcakes? Are everyone's dishes done? Looks yes, like it. Our front row, yeah, yeah. People seem like they're ready to go. All right. Oh my gosh. Okay. Ready. Yeah. So I'll just dry these as I go. Um, Okay, so for this uh, <laughs> for this uh, cupcake recipe, we'll go as far as we can before we have to take out our chocolate ones when they're done. So don't worry about going fast or anything. We want to do this right, especially because with the vanilla ones, there's um, the egg whites that we have to separate from the egg yolks, which is going to be a lot of fun. Um, and we can't use the cupcake tray with the, and line the cupcake liners until the chocolate cupcakes are done. So. We'll just start and make the batter, and then when the chocolate ones are done, um, finish up. Sarah, so, let's start with the dry ingredients. Uh, vanilla cupcakes, one and two thirds cup of flour. Again, you'll need your two, the mixing bowls. One and two thirds cup of flour, which is 213 grams of flour. Just put that in the dry. So, and make sure you kind of cut it off, you know, so it's, you know it's one cup. So one and two thirds. Flour. Then, then uh, one cup of white sugar. The white sugar helps it crystallize. Uh, if you don't have white sugar, it may change the consistency, like I was talking about uh, with the honey with Christy or powdered sugar. But, you know, you learn by trying and by doing. So why not? It'll still taste delicious. Uh, but I'm doing one cup of these white flour or white sugar. Now, when I was making this for Leslie Jones, my challenge was to make them the fluffiest, moist white cupcakes she ever had. Because she was like, you'll never be able to make my uncle's cupcakes. And I said, oh, yeah. And uh, I learned to regret that. Because um, after that, she just kept torturing me. She fed me the fake noses she had to eat. She had to eat a nose in the show. Uh, that, that scene got cut, but I'll tell you about it in a sec. Um, a quarter teaspoon oh, of baking soda. A quarter teaspoon of baking soda. Boom. One and a half teaspoons of baking powder, one, and a pinch or a quarter teaspoon of salt. 
just going to put that. But, all right. That's your dry. Just whisk those together until it's combined. Yeah, once Leslie found out that I was a baker, she uh, <laughs> she made me eat the noses in the nose jar. In the scene in episode eight, um, sorry if this is spoilers for anyone, but Prince Ricky uh, makes her eat his nose from the nose jar. And that got cut. Because first she fetches out a nose and he goes, what about that nose that makes it seem aquiline? And so she fishes out his real nose and he's like, okay, now eat it. And then she's like, what? He's like, I'm joking, I'm joking. And he goes, no, eat it. And then he has to. Uh, that's why Roach gives her the drink to wash down the, the nose. And so those noses were made of some kind of gelatin oatmeal and they painted them rotten. And uh, yeah, Leslie forced me to eat one because I made her beautiful, delicious white cupcakes. So once that's mixed together, here comes the fun part. Um, before we separate the egg whites from the egg yolks, we need to melt some butter. So uh, what we're going to need is uh, one and a half sticks of butter, which is three quarters cups of butter or 170 grams of butter. How I do that is basically I just add uh, one and a half sticks of butter to a saucepan and just on the stove kind of melt that down. You can also melt it in a microwave if you have a microwave instead. You don't want to burn it, okay? You just want to melt it enough. So keep an eye on it. Um, so I'm just going to put this in a saucepan just so it's melting and not too hot by the time I add it to the wet ingredients. So one and a half sticks of butter. I'm going to add that to a saucepan and I'll be right back. We had a couple of people ask about the pins. Uh, Samba has pins and uh, aprons and whatnot. Uh, at shopstands.com. You can go grab those. Just wanted to do a little shout out there. A portion of those uh, items are also going to Every Mother Counts, which is a very important organization uh, helping women and mothers, um, especially with maternal health. Uh, there, We have some uh, catastrophic statistics about that. So um, please uh, go check that out if you're inclined. Also, I am now hungry for cupcakes and I'm going to be eating cupcakes all day. Thanks for that. Everybody posting social media of cupcakes. I'm going to Lose my mind. Okay, let that melt away, but keep an eye on it, please. We don't want that to be brown butter because the trick to these uh, cupcakes is, you know, they have to look like Steve, just pale and, you know, soft and moist. Uh, so if you brown your butter or you add uh, too many egg yolks, they will not be as white. They'll be a slightly yellower. Um, yeah. So separating your egg yolks from your egg whites. Uh, don't worry if uh, you get some egg yolk in your egg whites, that's fine. Uh, and if you're not comfortable with this step, don't worry, you can put your full eggs in here. You just have to cut your sour cream in the next step by half. Um, your cupcakes will just look a little more yellow than white. If you wanna learn how to separate your egg whites from your egg yolks, some of you I'm sure know, but I'll show you how I do it. And it's a bit chaotic, so good luck. Bowl. Three eggs. If you want, uh, keep your egg yolks because uh, you can save them to make something else, another recipe, custard. I have a key lime pie recipe on YouTube that asks for egg yolks. So there's different ways to salvage them if you want to. So basically, grab your egg, right? Before you break it in half, try to keep the egg, have a bowl to catch your egg whites, okay? And then just kind of play with your yolk and move it from shell to shell to separate uh, the white from the yellow. And again, don't worry if some egg yolk gets in there. Uh, this can be messy. But otherwise, you've got a beautiful egg yolk to save for another day. Okay? So that's how it's separated. Again, so there's going to be three eggs. Again, if you're not comfortable with this step, don't worry, you can just put the full egg. They'll, they'll still taste great, the cupcakes. They'll just look less. Okay, I got some egg yolk in there. That's totally fine. Like I said, it's all right. Just a little bit. By the way, I scream. I asked for as many screams as possible this season from Roach. They gave me a few. The torture scene. 
which by the way, I'll tell you some more stories about that in a second. So let's separate that. And boom, that's your egg whites, all right? So add those to your other mixing bowl that you're gonna add the wet ingredients to. Okay, and check on your butter right now. Uh, mine's in a saucepan. If it's in a microwave, great. Uh, mine's in a saucepan, I'm gonna make sure it's not browning. One sec. It's not. There. It's almost there. So how many minutes do we have for the cupcakes? Two. So if your oven runs hot, this is your 16 minute mark to test your cupcakes uh, by putting in a little toothpick in the center of your chocolate cupcakes to see if they come out clean. If they don't, give it a few minutes. For the rest of us who have uh, ovens that we trust, 18 minutes, we're not there yet. So just two more minutes to go. So we can just continue with the wet ingredients. Maybe. White vanilla cupcakes, three egg whites. Um, now you're gonna add one tablespoon of vanilla extract. For those who have vanilla beans, I'd say, uh, you know how we did this for the other chocolate ones? I'd say double that, just so you get that additional vanilla flavor. Mm -hmm. If your butter's done, yeah, turn it off so it doesn't brown and just leave it there to cool for a sec. Uh, let's add a tablespoon of vanilla extract to the egg whites. And then half a cup of sour cream. If you added your whole eggs, uh, make it a quarter cup of sour cream so it's not too rich. Um, if you had only egg whites with a bit of egg yolk, uh, half a cup of sour cream, which is 120 milliliters for our dear people. Charlie told me there's 400 people joining us today. That's incredible, guys. I can't believe it. Thank you. Thank you for supporting this, uh, helping the LA Food Bank. We're going to feed so many people for this holiday. Thank you. It means so much to me. Um, half a cup of sour cream. And then uh, half a cup of milk. If you have whole milk, great. If you don't, don't worry about it. Um, just half a cup of milk. Not buttermilk. We're not mixing it with vinegar this time. Just regular milk. Half a cup of milk. Boom. And then we're going to add our butter. Now, I have 10 seconds on my cupcakes. So before I add the butter, I'm going to check on my cupcakes to see if they come out clean. All right. So uh, if they come out clean, take them out of the oven. If they're not 100% clean, give it one more minute. Uh, if it's very wet, just leave it in there for a second. Okay. In the middle, out. Let me check on them. Uh, no, yeah, I do. All right, mine are done. Uh, leave your oven on, by the way, because you'll need it for the vanilla cupcakes. If you put your toothpick in the middle and it comes out clean, that's when they're done. Sometimes you're going to hit a chocolate chip uh, and not the cupcake uh, cake. So just watch out for that. That can be confusing, which part is done, which is not. Let's see how um, clean. Oh, that was a chocolate chip. <laughs> see how clean the toothpick is. That's what you want. It just doesn't come out uh, dirty. So take them out of the oven and uh, set these aside to cool. Uh, for a couple minutes, and we'll need these cupcake molds to do the vanilla cupcakes. So uh, set them inside to cool. They'll cool pretty quickly um, as you continue working on your vanilla cupcake batter. So I'll put these to cool. Hope you can smell that lovely chocolatey uh, smell in your house. All right, uh, while they're there to cool, for those of you who needed a few more minutes, uh, yeah, just keep an eye on that. What I'm doing is just, I'm adding the butter to the wet ingredients from the, the vanilla cupcakes. And I'm gonna stir that together with a whisk while I'm pouring. 
Um, you might form some clumps, which is fine. That'll all melt away. But what you want to do is just make sure it's all well incorporated. Okay. So adding the butter to the wet ingredients. Just stir that until it's fully incorporated. Again, don't worry if it's clumpy. Hopefully you smell some vanilla. Don't taste this, it's got raw eggs. Okay. Once that's all mixed together, we're gonna add it to the dry ingredients and just keep whisking away. You don't have to overmix, you just wanna make sure it's all fully incorporated, okay? So gently pour that into your dry ingredients. There you go. We're making a little steam bonnet. <laughs> Reese says hi, by the way. I spoke to him, I was telling him about during his class. He says, hello. He loves you all. He's so happy. Uh, that his shows went well and that you all came out to support him. So thanks for that. Okay, so make sure it's just fully incorporated. You don't want to overmix it. And you should have a smooth batter. You see it? It's a bit liquidy. Smells like vanilla. Smells like something Leslie Jones would cuss you out for. White fluffy chocolate cake. Nice. All right. So obviously we're gonna need our cupcake molds and liners. Um, so be brave and take out your chocolate cupcakes from the cupcake molds. That should be a little cooler now. And place them aside to cool. So I would just place my chocolate cupcake on like a tray or a plate and set them aside to cool. And then I'll bring in my cupcake molds, okay? So be gentle. Don't forget, we have the questions in the Q&A box that we will also be getting to. And if you're part of the meet and greets, just stick around in this Zoom uh, for after. Front row, it looks like you're all working hard. Yeah, go Patricia, <laughs> dancing, yep. <laughs> I know, good job, you guys. So I'm putting these aside to cool and then I have my molds here, okay? So, yeah, I'll put these guys aside to cool. Beautiful chocolate ones. Yeah. It's okay, it'll cool down. Should be cool by now, hopefully. So we're gonna line these guys with uh whatever we're gonna use. Yeah, hold on. To line the um cupcakes. I'm gonna use purple for steed. Uh and he's fancy and he's dashing. I already told you the red suit story, right? You're gonna put these in your liners. Again, this batch will make about 12 to 15. If you only have one cupcake mold that it does 12, don't worry, you can save the rest of the batter to add more later. But I'm gonna line about 15 of these. You're a mess of chocolate. <laughs> one, two. Oh, I'm out of purple. purple. All right. Samba, so, while you're lining those, you wanna yeah. take one question from the audience? Yeah, let's do it. All right. Let's see here. So uh, someone asked, Vanessa asked, what kind of sandwich did you make Izzy when he left in season one? <laughs> okay, I'll tell you that story. Okay. Um, while we're uh, filling these, I'll tell you that story, okay? So just fill these up, up to two thirds full, not full, not half, two thirds. 
Again, this is to stop it from uh, overspilling or undercooking. So up to two thirds full uh, is what, how, where you want the level of batter to be. Okay. So let's spoon that in gently. All right, the sandwich. So in season one, I uh, <laughs> I had the sandwich uh, that I threw at Izzy's head, which was my idea, by the way. And I love that. And Khan was such a, a gem to be able to play along. And the sound effect that happened was priceless. It still makes me laugh to this day. That sandwich uh, had a pickle in it and a strip of jerky. And the bread was super dry. And I love that because if you want to punish somebody, <laughs> you give them salt with dry bread at sea in the Caribbean, and that would be that's 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 what was that that's what that sandwich was made out of. Now for season two in episode what is it four, where we're kicking Blackbeard off the ship? Yeah, four. Um, it was a different crew, and I wanted the sandwich to be identical to the sandwich that Roach made for Izzy when Blackbeard's being kicked off the ship. Because I'm like, I guess this is what Roach makes for the the farewell sandwich. Um, so I told them, okay, it's got to be dry bread, it's got to be pickle, it's got to be jerky, <laughs> it's got to be wrapped like this with a little bow. Um, so they made that sandwich identical. And in the script, it was just written that uh, Roach offers Blackbeard the sandwich and Blackbeard, you know, uh, smacks it out of his hand. So me and Taika were playing around with it and Reese was standing right there. And I was like, what if we hit it towards Reese, right? Uh, and Taika's like, okay, okay, aim it, aim it this way when you hold it up. And so we, during the rehearsals, we were just playing with that. And, and we're like, okay, so we're gonna make sure we hit it towards Reese and Reese, you're gonna catch it and then uh, play with it when you catch it. And he's like, okay, okay, cool, fun, sounds fun. So the cameras were rolling. We didn't tell anybody. We didn't tell the directors. We didn't tell the rest of the cast. And the cameras were rolling. And uh, Taika walks up to me. I go, hey, I made you a sandwich. And he smacks it. And I aim it toward Reese. And Reese catches it. And he goes, don't you want your sandwich for the trip? And Taika smashes it again. And everyone broke into laughter. I mean, you see Nathan's face. If you look really closely, you see Nathan's face um, giggling. Because no one knew that that was what was about to happen. It was an improvised moment. Um, and the directors were cracking up. Everyone was cracking up. It's like, how do you guys come up with that? You're geniuses. And Reese and Tiger are like, we know, we know, we're, we're geniuses. And I was like, I, I came up with the idea too. Um, so that was the improv. That's why Nathan's cackling back there because uh, it was not scripted. But yeah, that's what's in that sandwich. Hey, Samba, there's questions around the uh, thickness of the batter. Some people yeah. are saying it's very, very thick, like uh, almost cookie-like. Um, oh. What should well, mine, the consistency be? Mine's like, you know, it doesn't stick to the spoon. It's pretty ready. Yeah. yeah. So could just be the type of flour you're using or whatnot, but it should be, it shouldn't be too thick. It should be runny. Maybe I would not try to change much. I wouldn't add more sour cream or um, milk or milk. That might change the consistency, but yeah, it's just supposed to be a bit, a bit runny. Anyway, as long as it has that lovely vanilla flavor, you're going to be okay. And the frosting is just going to make it epic. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I managed to fill in uh, 18 cupcakes. Uh, I guess these cupcake liners are smaller than what I'm usually used to. So just make one massive one. Boom. Okay. Yeah, you can add a bit more sour cream or milk if you want, just a little bit, just to make it. It's also the temperature, right? If those things are really cold still. Right, might... exactly. If you're in the UK or in, I guess, South Dakota, I guess it's winter right now. Uh, all right. Now, this is not in the recipe. This is just for uh, in case people want to try this. I've also made versions of these where I've added, you know, we did the chocolate chips inside the chocolate cupcake, how we can put blue, we can put blueberries on top of each vanilla one that will bake into it if you want. Uh, the blueberry will make it a little wetter because blueberries have water. So if it's your first time making them, maybe don't, just so you know what consistency is for next time. But you can add blueberries to this if you want. Otherwise, these babies are ready to go into the oven. So again, you're going to bake these for 18 minutes. If uh, After 18 minutes, you put your toothpick in. If it needs more, 
if it doesn't come out clean, a little longer. If your oven runs hot, check after 16, okay? Keep your oven on 350 degrees, and we're gonna put this into the oven to bake for 18 minutes. Be right back. All right, how's everybody doing? We good? Uh, this is a process of trial and error. If you're in altitude, uh, if your ingredients are different uh, consistencies, there's a lot of different little ways that you can experiment with it. So make sure you watch this video again uh, and watch it back and check out that recipe. Some people I'm seeing are forgetting their their butter. Uh, the timer for 18 minutes. Yep. Hey, Siri, stop. Okay. Uh, yeah. And this is over there. By the way, shout out to Tanisa who is baking when she's not on camera at the same time because Maybe. she's a badass. I love it. Uh, this is also a time to do your dishes again. I'm so, so sorry. Uh, but you'll need at least one mixing uh, bowl for the frosting that we're going to do next. But just wash both with um, your measuring cups. I'm so sorry. Yeah. More dishes. And as you're telling stories, why cover the bench? <laughs> telling, being told my bench is dirty. I'm, I'm just supposed to be chaotic. Um, and then just this as well. Also, I want to petition for Samba for you to be on the bear in the next season. That TV ah, show, Hulu. That would make that my show gives me that gets show gives me so much anxiety. So much anxiety. <laughs> no, there's a difference between chaos and anxiety. I do yeah. well with chaos. Fine, there's some episodes that are chaotic, but the anxiety in that show is just oh god, could never handle it. Um, I'm so proud of that show though because my friend uh, Io, who's on it, is lovely. Ayo um, is amazing. One of yeah, those, so, so she make... was a writer on Sunnyside. Oh, cool. Uh, she started, yeah, and then she's an amazing writer. And at the same time, just uh, I'm so happy for her that she got this part. And it's just perfect that she's able to tell her story that way. So cool. Anyway, All I'm right. going to start the petition if everyone wants to sign it here. I, I, <laughs> sounds good. Do yes, chef. Let's do it. Chef all the way through. <laughs> yeah, sounds good. All right. I hope everyone's okay doing dishes uh, and, and, and able to keep up. Um, what we're going to do once the dishes are done is uh, work on the frosting. Uh, how are we doing with time? What is it? It's 11. Okay. I think I think we'll make it. Um, we're going to do the frosting. We're going to start with the chocolate frosting. Hopefully by now your, your butter is a little soft. Mine's not. If it's not, don't worry. It's going to soften up as you beat it and mix it. And if it splits, I'll tell you exactly how to fix it. So while the dishes are being done, how about some more stories or questions? Um, speaking of torture, the anxiety, the uh, bear. Um, episode six, Ned Lowe, right? Uh, Bronson is amazing as an actor. He just came in wearing his silver suit and silver teeth and was just so much fun. Uh, a lot got cut out from that episode. Um, basically, the main thing was uh, Roach is a huge fan of Ned Lowe because of torture. And so he knows the violin. As soon as the violin starts playing, Roach goes, that's Ned Lowe's signature violin. And uh, when Ned Lowe has like him in a head brace, he goes, excuse me, excuse me, Ned Lowe, big fan. And then Ned goes, oh, I like this one. Give him a little extra. And then he tortures Roach a little more. And he goes, oh. he's like, oh, beautiful pitch. And then they start doing the symphony. Um, so that all got cut out that Roach is a huge fan of Ned Lowe. Um, but what's really interesting is episode six had a few different transformations in the very, very early stages. And I'm really happy with what happened now, what it is now, because... To me, that's a gorgeous episode with Khan singing La Vie en Rose and everyone coming into themselves with Wee John looking fantastic as Calypso. So I'm so happy with where it went from where it was. Uh, but you guys might be a little sad because there was a little more with Ed and Steed uh, in the original, original one that they saved for the later episodes seven and eight. But in the original, original episode six before the rewrites, um, the episode was not going to be Calypso's birthday. It was going to be Lucius and Black Pete's wedding. And uh, the whole episode, we're trying to do this wedding and celebrate the wedding. And Ned Lowe still crashes the wedding and tortures us. But during the whole episode, we, John, and Roach are trying to make Steed and Blackbeard hook up. Because both of them are like, there is too much sexual tension in the air and it is stressing us out and so the whole episode they're trying to get steed to hook up with blackbeard and we john goes i'm like cupid i hooked up lucius and black pete i'm gonna make sure these two hook up 
And so uh, we, John and Roach, give Steed a makeover. <laughs> like we, John, makes him a beautiful shirt and Roach gives Steed a piercing and uh, pierces his ear. And then uh, Izzy starts singing and Blackbeard and Steed start to dance before Ned Lowe comes. And I saw a lot of you wishing they would dance in the original episode, in the in the episode that aired. And in the original one, they did a little bit and everyone goes wow we john you really like cupid and then we get attacked uh so they did dance and then that got changed because i think it's it's more beautiful the way it was written where you save the tension until later instead of resolving it right then and there and also uh the song choice was going to be at last from etta james <laughs> but i'm so happy that they stuck with la vie en rose because um Khan sung that so beautifully, which, uh, by the way, uh, I coached him on the French. Uh, French is my first language. And so I was coaching Izzy on some pronunciations, which was a lot of fun to do. Because while he was singing it on the gantry in French, Roach is not in that scene while everyone's dancing, because I'm, Samba, crouched behind Izzy going, c'est la, la vie, le quand tu me embrasses dans mes bras, mes bras. And he's like, ah! and he's trying to pronounce it, right? Um, and that's why, because I'm crouched down there coaching Khan in how to pronounce certain things in French. And uh, he nailed it. He absolutely nailed it. And I'm so happy that that recording is out for everyone to to listen to. Um, so that's a little BTS deleted scene, deleted rewrites that happened for episode six. And again, I'm super happy with what, what it ended up being. But in the very first versions, it was all about trying to hook up uh, Steed and Ed together, which we will do with these cupcakes. All right, no. Frosting. The key is to try and get your butter as creamy as possible. And uh, don't worry if it's still cold, it will come to room temperature as you mix it. So for this step, you will need an electric mixer or a standing mixer. So just have that ready to go. I'll just say use a large mixing bowl and uh, you'll need a sieve, right? to sift through your powdered sugar and cocoa powder. Because when we're piping the frosting on, you don't want anything to get stuck in the tip. This is my Wilton 1M tip. It's got this kind of shape, I don't know if you can see it. It's got a little flowery shape. And this, you don't want anything to get stuck in there. Powdered sugar clumps, cocoa powder clumps, blueberries later. Um, so you want to get as fine as possible. So the sieve is the way to go. What we're going to start with is beating these two sticks of butter till they're smooth and creamy. So add those to the mixing bowl. One. What about how many grams is that? Do you know? Two sticks? Uh, that's going to be 226 grams. Yes. Or, or, uh, one cup. Of better. Okay. And we're going to uh, beat that, uh, until it's smooth and creamy. So start on low. Sorry for the noise. And then work your way up to it. Go to high. And take about a minute or two. Samba, are we doing Blackbeard first frosting? We're doing the chocolate frosting first. Got it. Yeah. So cocoa powder, powdered sugar, vanilla, salt, and some heavy cream. But we'll add that after, once your butter is smooth and creamy. Okay. 
going all over the place, but that's what you want. You want it a little creamy, smooth. This kind of texture, like cream cheese almost. Um, so make sure you scoop that all out. Keep it in your mixing bowl. I'm just gonna use my fingers. It's been a little cold, but that's hopefully gonna be okay. If your buttercream splits, it's not over. There's ways to save it. You just have to warm up your bowl to bring the butter to room temp again. The mess. <laughs> so butters uh creamy smooth now we're gonna sift in our powdered cream powdered cream powdered sugar and i say this recipe needs two cups but start with one cup because two cups is like the maximum for me like sweetness wise and i want to build up the sweetness um so i'm just going to start with one cup of powdered sugar and add that sieve to the butter mix. There. Because this is totally, this is very personal, all right? This is like up to you, how sweet you want it, how salty, how uh, much creamy, vanilla. So this is very much flavor-based. I'm just giving you the basics, and then you can play with if you need more powdered sugar to make it a bit more uh, thick or a bit more cocoa powder to make it a bit more bitter or salt just to pop that chocolate flavor or vanilla or heavy cream to make it smooth and creamier. It's very up to you, but I'm just giving you the basics. Okay, so sip in. Oh, my apron's coming undone. I think the gentle beard cupcakes are almost uh, ready. <laughs> Uh, all right, we have six minutes on the vanilla cupcake. So powdered sugar, about one cup. Then we're gonna also sift in a quarter cup of cocoa powder. Um, again, sifting in so we don't have clumps. About a quarter yeah. cup. That, and again, when you taste after, you can add more cocoa powder if you want more chocolate flavor, powdered sugar, salt vanilla or heavy cream. Now, this is nice because it's going to be nice and fine and it's not going to stick into your cupcake tip. Okay. Once that's all there, just mix on low so it slowly incorporates. Just on just a little bit. Careful, this is going to be very messy. Here we go. A little bit until it kind of a little bit forms a little clump. Okay. Till it forms a little clump. Yeah, till it forms a little clump. Now we're going to add our vanilla. So uh, I'd say two teaspoons of vanilla, which would be again this much vanilla bean paste from the beginning. Two teaspoons. A uh, pinch of salt. Again, you will taste later to see if you need more salt to bring out the chocolate flavor. Boom. And three tablespoons of heavy cream. This will help make your frosting nice, creamy, smooth, like a paste. Peanut paste. <laughs> that that scene was improvised as well. It was all about me and Frenchy, Roach and Frenchy finding out how to make peanut butter work on a sandwich. So first we use Steve's marmalade and then Roach comes up with the idea to mix it with the raspberry jam. And so Roach discovered peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. All right, once that's all in the bowl, again on low, try to bring it all together and then you'll build up up to high. And you're gonna mix this for about one minute until it's incorporated and then we'll taste, see what you need, all right?
just want to give a shout out to the uh, noise canceling so that we actually don't hear anything that Thumb is doing right now. It's completely quiet. It's almost zen-like. Uh, meanwhile, where Samba is, it's loud. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry, it's loud. That should be done. Let's see. We can taste it. Um... I love mine. If you want, this is a time where you can add a bit more powdered sugar if you want to make it sweeter. Cocoa powder if you want to make it more bitter. A bit of cream to make it smoother. Uh, but what you're looking for is a smooth butter consistency that's like easy to spread. Right? This you can taste. Whoops. Sorry. So sorry, Brett. Told you to be chaotic. Um, bring it all together. The spatula. Because we're going to put this in a piping bag. And pipe these on our beautiful black beard cupcakes. Let me check how long we have for our vanilla cupcakes. Two minutes. Okay. Is everybody caught up? Are we okay, front row, and everyone else with the buttercream? No, no, not everyone's caught up. That's fine. I'll give you a minute. I'll give you a minute. This is important. If your buttercream has split, you'll know because it's not smooth and creamy like this. It's going to look clunky. And this is especially happens with the blueberry one because of the temperatures. All you have to do is kind of uh, bring your mixing bowl up to temperature. So I usually like have a little saucepan with water that I boil and I put the mixing bowl on top of the saucepan so it doesn't touch the water, but just the heat helps bring the butter up to temperature. And I start mixing uh, with my mixer. And what you'll see is that the butter starts to melt and emulsify, and then the mixture will come together. Some people also put it in the microwave for five seconds to heat up the frosting, take it out, mix it. Because what you want to do is bring the uh, butter up to temperature, the right temperature to incorporate. Now, sometimes your uh, buttercream splits because the butter is too hot and melty and runny. And so it'll be oily and greasy. Um, and to fix that, you just have to cool down the butter. So it comes back to a more solid temperature. So people usually put it in the freezer five minutes, 10 minutes, mix it and see if it incorporates together again. So you can save your buttercream. Don't worry if it splits. There's many, many videos on YouTube to show how to do it as well. Uh, so you never have to throw it out a batch. There's always a way to salvage this, okay? Now, I'll wait to put it in the frosting bag because my vanilla cupcakes are gonna be done in 30 seconds. So I'll just ask my wife to do that, please, my wife. Let's clean up um, That's fine. <laughs> You're a mess. No, it's okay. Well, that comes. The vanilla cupcakes are going to be done in eight seconds. So again, you're going to put a toothpick in, and you're going to check uh, to see if they're if it comes out clean. If it doesn't, give it one or two more minutes, and let's go check on those babies out. Be right back. Yeah, the chat is still lit up here. Um, <laughs> this is great. There's, I love how we're comparing the two cupcakes and some people are like, uh, Steed is doing so much better. <laughs> um, uh, we're going to get to some questions as well in the Q&A and then we're almost wrapping up. Um, so at the end, uh, we will be moving on to our meet and greets, but thank you everybody for, for coming as well. This is a, a crucial part. Oh, look at those. They're done. They're done. See, it comes out clean. Yep. That's what you want. If it doesn't, give it a minute or two. Uh, take them out of the oven when they're done. Set them aside to cool. Turn your oven off. You don't need it anymore. Okay. There we go. Um, a lot of uh, questions and comments around New Zealand. Um, New Zealand is an incredible country and uh, so many amazing places to see. Um, Samba, do you have any favorite places you'd recommend in New Zealand if people get a chance to go? Man, it's just one of the most gorgeous uh, countries I've ever been to. There's so much to see. So much. On the North Island, there's the two kinds of beaches. There's the West Coast beaches, which are black sand. So yeah. when you go in the summertime, you literally burn your feet on the sand because there's iron in the sand. And, and <laughs> that's where we filmed uh, in Piha and Bethel's. 
In fact, when we're running away from the British, uh, that scene at the end of episode eight, all of us had to do that scene eight times. And I think by take three, Leslie Jones was cussing the director. He's like, Fernando, I'm 50 years old. Why are you making me run on the beach in my boots? And so that's like one of the beaches that we were running, not up and down. Um, yeah, she's going to kill me for that. I'm going to make her cupcakes. And then yeah. um, there's... Uh, the South Island, which for me was magical, just yeah. truly magical. There's uh, uh, what was that place with the Milford waterfalls? Sound. Milford Sound, which Milford was just Sound, yeah. gorgeous. This, this looks like Lord of the Rings, yeah. uh, just epic, epic nature. Uh, there's the mountains, Mount Cook. There's uh, near near uh, um, Christchurch. There's Castle Hill, where you see all these old rocks where they filmed a lot of Lord of the Rings as well. Um, and yeah, although Queenstown, Queenstown's amazing, you get all this Queenstown's activity. Queenstown's amazing. The wineries. Uh, if you go towards Rotorua, I highly recommend. There's a lot of Maori villages there that are beautiful. They still do their hakas, which is amazing. Like you, know, you practice your haka face when you're there. You're like, ah. All right, uh, that's always fascinating to me. And yeah, it's just I. There's no place where you can go wrong in New Zealand at all. But we filmed at the beaches and. Our studio where we filmed is also where they did Rings of Power. So it was still the forest there and the water tank and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah. Um, Blake also asked, did you get to keep anything from set or from your costume? Uh, allegedly, allegedly. Allegedly. If you were Gypsy, to. Gypsy promised me uh, Roach's original shirt. So I'm waiting for that. And I stole some doubloons from the flower market. And I may or may not have uh, my chair, which uh, I, I stole with my name on it. Allegedly. Yeah, allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> so, typing. Uh, I know we're running short on time. I'm going to show you anyway how to do the chocolate ones, and then we'll make the blueberry frosting real quick before we wrap up. Piping tip in the piping bag. Oh, make sure it faces the right way. It's messy, it's good. Okay, piping tip in the piping bag. And then how are you going to fill your piping bag? The easiest way I find to do it is to put it in a glass like this. Right? Just put it in the glass like this and just open the tip up to the top like that. All right? Like so. Put the tip at the bottom, this on top opening. And you're gonna basically spoon your frosting mm. into that. So go. Kind of fill that up. And then you're gonna to wanna to seal your bag up so it doesn't explode from the top. So you kind of push that down, twist the top of your bag. So when you pipe, it doesn't pop out this way. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the tip off of this piping bag, just so the piping tip can pop out. So just using some scissors, it's gonna cut a little bit of the tip. Boom. So your metal tip can stick out far enough for the pattern to show. Boom. Okay. Now, I'm just going to show you how to pipe a few of these. Well, you can please watch this. <laughs> Thank you. Chocolate cupcakes. The pattern I usually pipe with, just push it down slightly so it comes all the way to the bottom. I like this tip because you can make beautiful rose patterns on it. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Basically, start in the middle, like so. And you're just going to go around the circle. It's going to keep the pressure so the frosting keeps coming smoothly out. And boom. You have a little flower pattern. And that's basically how you're going to do each cupcake. I'm sorry, I saw an explosion there at the schnitzel's house. Are you OK? <laughs> Go around and boom, our pattern. Missiles, you okay over there? 
<laughs> Looks like there's a fire in your house, Schnitzel. What did you do, Schnitzel? Oh. Uh, we we didn't want to use the tips, so we just like cut the bottom. Mm. And it looks terrible. You know that could be Ed from episode two at the end of episode two when he smashed in the face with a cannibal. That's fine. It's still gonna taste delicious. That's all you want. All right. It's just it is gonna... really really yummy. That's it's why. Phenomenal. That's all that matters. Okay. That's all that matters. <laughs> Chaos. It's social shenanigans here, everybody. I yeah. know. <laughs> so you're gonna do that with all your cupcakes. I'm not gonna do it now because we're. Uh, I want to show you how to do the blueberry frosting, but that's basically how you're gonna make the chocolate cupcakes. Now, uh, the blueberry frosting is very similar. You're also gonna use two sticks of butter, which is one cup or the 226 grams, um, the powdered sugar, blueberries. Now, for this step, you are gonna need to blitz your blueberries. Six ounces, this is 11 ounces, that's about half of this. You know, this, they sell those, those square boxes at the store. So you wanna just kind of have that. Uh, put aside like 15 blueberries to put it on top of the uh, uh, frosting when you're done. With this one, uh, the black beer cupcakes, I like putting a little chocolate chip on top. Just boom, you know, right? Just to show that, hey, there's a chocolate chip here. Uh, and so we're gonna do that with the blueberry cupcakes as well. A little nipple on top. Um, so we're going to have, uh, need, a blitz food chaos, food processor or a blender to blitz your blueberries. Now, um, your washed blueberries, make sure you add them to your food processor. Uh, again, put a couple aside to top your frosting. So I'm just going to add some blues, uh, six ounces. In here. All right, I'm going to save these for later. Okay. Now we're going to uh, blitz this till it forms a fine, fine, fine paste. You don't want any skin particles in there that might get stuck in the uh, piping tip. Oh, I need to... Ready? Sorry, it's going to be loud for a second, guys. Just do 30 seconds and then here we go. So you want to make sure it's smooth. If there's some piece of the skin, that's fine. You don't want any thick ones, but I'm just going to scoop it down and give it one more nice blitz to make sure it's as fine as possible. One more blitz. All right, and I set that aside and we're going to do the same thing with the butter right now um, where we're going to uh, mix it in your mixing bowl to form the smooth creamy texture before adding the powdered sugar and the blueberry and then the cream and all that stuff. So let's mix our butter. How are we doing? We got five minutes. We can do this. Hope everyone keeps up. Again, if it splits, it's probably because the butter's too cold compared to the blueberries and the cream. So just bring it to temperature and it will be fine. I, and Samba, I think you're making amazing time. You're doing two different recipes with piping. <laughs> <laughs> Very I'm trying, I'm trying to do it, Charlie. As you're uh, doing that, I'm just going to rapid fire you a couple of questions that you could answer quickly. Are you ready? Oh, because I'm mixing, I'm mixing the butter. Is that going to be? Oh, okay. You, do your, do your butter thing. <laughs> all right. All right. Sorry. Sorry. I am no, no. We, we can't even hear it. There's noise suppression. <laughs> so it's perfect. Um, I'm gonna answer the Here we go. Rocking it. Um, thank you, front row. We're also going to move you back into the general attendees here as we start to segue. Uh, but we have a little bit left here on this recipe. Um, let's see. So someone said city cakes. I, I'm not gonna, that's just, just lighting up the chat. Um, <laughs> and then in terms of slowing down, 
we're trying to cover a lot of ground real quick. Um, but remember, you can watch this back. You have the, we'll send out the recipe and the ingredients one more time along with the video and uh, you can slow it down. You can actually play it uh, at 0.5 or 0.75 speed, which would be very helpful um, so that you can uh, take your time. Um, Smooth, silky texture. Yep. Sorry. And then we'll add our powdered sugar again. Uh, start with one cup. And then if you need a sweeter, add another. But again, sift. Da, 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 da. So if everyone can make this on time, make this on time, make this on time. I'm ready for that question, Charlie. Oh, they're already eating those. Yep, people are already eating. Uh, yep, doing a great oh, job. Hey, I don't blame you. Yeah, have fun, Patricia. Yeah. I like it. Um, Christina wants to ask, uh, what is some? What is uh, what are Samba's favorite video games or a video game if you have one? Oh, uh, Assassin's Creed is one of my faves ever. Uh, I've been a fan since the franchise started. Um, that's my go-to adventure exploring game. Right now, I just got Mirage, uh, which seems like a lot of fun, so I can't wait to get into that. Uh, sports games like FIFA, because I, I, I played soccer as a kid. I was on my school's team. Um, I'd say those are the two two big ones. Of course, I was in Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, so I'm kind of biased. To which play we game. played, yep, agreed. Yeah. <laughs> big time. All right, uh, so we're going to add the blueberry to the frosting. Gently add... Uh, I'd save just I'd save just a little bit in case you want more blueberry flavor later, but then, um, my measurement should be enough for that flavor. The six ounces together in the bowl, mix gently till it comes together before adding your salt, vanilla, and cream. Just let it come together a little bit. I can see that my frosting might split already. I think my butter was too cold. Add a little bit of salt, pinch of salt. Um, I'd say one teaspoon of vanilla and three tablespoons of cream. Mix that together. If mine split, don't worry. Uh, like, like I said, we can save it, but let's try to bring it together. Start on low. And then you're going to mix it for at least a minute or two so it all comes together on high. Ready? All right, I kept mixing it and it came together. It didn't split. That's because the butter was able to come up to temperature. So if it splits, try to mix it for longer. If not, you use that um, the heating technique I showed you or the cooling technique if butter is too hot. And boom, you have your blueberry frosting to uh, pipe onto your vanilla cupcakes. Again, taste, make sure you like it. If you want to have more salt, um, powdered sugar, blueberries maybe, cream, make it creamier. This is what's going to go in the piping bag, like I did with the chocolate one. And you're going to pipe the same pattern, starting in the middle, going around in a circle, and then you can top it with a blueberry to have your beautiful cupcakes. I can't pipe right now because my piping tips uh, in stuck on the chocolate one. <laughs> you need more supplies. Yeah, I need more piping tips, the Wilton ones. But that's basically the recipe, you guys. Um, I guess, what should I end with? Moments that were improvised. 
which are what this recipe was in between. Uh, quick shout to what was improvised. The sandwich improv, I told you. When, don't you want your sandwich? That was improvised. Um, the uh, thumb war between Blackbeard and Steed. That was improvised. The Con O'Neill line of brood and then crossing his legs, improvised. And of course, uh, uh, buttons, when they are like buttons turn into a bird and then uh, Blackbeard goes to Steed and goes, hey, Blackbeard turned, uh, buttons turned into a bird, he flew off. And they don't respond, they just run off. That was also improvised. And of course, Roach's little moment to Izzy at the end. I love you. Man, why do you have to leave us? Uh, that was improvised as well. Um, and so, uh, yeah, those are the few moments. There's so many scenes that were cut out between Jim and Olu as well to help their relationship thrive. There was a scene in episode six that was cut out where um, Archie, Jim, and Olawande step out of the bedroom in boxers. So you can imagine what was happening there. And um, I wish I could, yeah, I'm just going to be sharing so many BTS photos and videos just to promote the whole thing and to show what made it, what didn't make it, and how we made the show. So I appreciate you guys' support uh, with this show, with our second season. I'm so glad the strike is over that we can talk about it. And uh, thank you for joining me with this class to raise money for the LA Food Bank to make these delicious cupcakes. I hope you love them as much as the cast and crew did and that you have a beautiful, beautiful Thanksgiving and holiday to celebrate with your loved ones, your crew. And yeah, we I love you guys. Thank you for hanging out with us. And to Momentus, Charlie, Berto, Tanisa, and everyone who put this together, I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you, Samba. Um... So we'll be moving on to our meet and greet. Um, don't forget to post your creations, your cupcakes on social media and tag Samba and Momentous. Okay, want to see it. Um, want to see how it came out. Um, thank you everybody for joining and, and hanging out. We're going to be moving into our meet and greet next. So you'll be getting an invite to turn on your camera and, and join us as a panelist here. Um, also, if you're not part of the meet and greets, if you could just exit the building in an orderly fashion. Don't push or shove, keep your arms and hands in, inside the vehicle. Um, and also I wanted to ask, uh, just because I'm cognizant of Berto and Tanisa's weekend and time, uh, does anyone in our meet and greet, uh, any of our meet and greet ticket holders require ASL interpretation? Um, if you do, if you can hit the raised hand button, um, or, uh, or actually if you could raise the raised hand button, if you do, uh, that way we can get to you. Um, and just, I have a feeling Berto and Tanisa have family members who would like to spend time with them this weekend. Uh, so I'm always wanting to be uh, aware and cognizant of their time. Uh, so yeah, use the raised hand feature button uh, reaction if you require ASL interpretation. Um, and if not, then we'll, uh, we'll be moving on. But thank you everybody so much. Thanks for coming out. What a blast. You're all amazing. This fandom thank is you, so everyone. Mad. Thank you, you guys. Uh, uh, <laughs> all right. Appreciate you guys. Thank you so much.